y'all. Y'all know what's going on on this channel, baby. This ain't no regular tarot channel. Make sure y'all subscribe and thank y'all to all the new subscribers, y'all. Run it up to 10K, baby. Let's run it up to 10K, friend. Don't skip no ads, nothing. Keep supporting your girl. Make sure y'all sharing my videos, y'all. Tell a friend to tell a friend to tell another friend about your girl. Cause she lit over here, yeah. So look, y'all. Um, what I was gonna say. Oh, look, it's a lot of stuff that's finna start happening, okay? A lot of stuff finna start happening. So y'all need to start writing down how you feeling, writing down what you what you expect or what whatever God is telling you, write it down whether you believe it or not, okay? Because you're gonna want some type of proof to show like, I knew this was coming. I knew I was gonna be here. I knew this was gonna be me, you feel me? If you can't write it, record yourself. Make a little fast video, you feel me? Save it in your phone or upload it on YouTube. It don't matter if people watching this shit or not, okay? It's just for you at a later date. Cause I'm telling you, you're gonna be able to pull this shit up and be like, on this time, this day, that place, I knew this was going to happen. I predicted this. Take it however it resonated, okay, for some. Because it's a lot of stuff that's going to unfold that you know is going to happen. And it's going to be a part of your testimony, okay? So when you get up on stage or when you're talking to people about it, you got proof to back it up. Like, this is how I knew. And I was, I was broke as fuck at this time in my life. I was at the lowest at this time in my life. And God told me this. I didn't believe it, but I still wrote it. I still said it. You feel me? Because God said it to me. So when you get in, when you get in that position, you will look back. You will help somebody else. Like, I promise y'all I didn't believe in myself. And look at me. Look at me. Okay? I feel like your future self is coming to you constantly. My future self been coming to me for the past two days now. Showing me that I'm safe. Telling me that I made it out. Me and her cried last night. Most, like, girl... Me and her done cried a couple of times already because she keep coming, keep telling me that I'm okay, keep telling me that I'm safe. And and then another thing, y'all, what if you know, like, okay, you know that you made it out. You know in the future that you were successful. Like me, future Jasmine, I know she's successful. I know she's rich, right? What did What did future Jasmine do to get rich? What did she do? How did she start off? Like, what would Jasmine do, okay, at this point? Because that's all you can rely, that's all you can rely on is yourself, right? So what did you do to get successful? So whatever you think this person did, whatever you think you did to get successful, you keep doing it until until the people coexist with each other, okay? Until you're until you're now one. Whatever I think Jasmine did, that's what the fuck I'm gonna start doing, cause that bitch was smart ass hoe. She a smart ass rich bitch, I'm telling you. And that hoe made it out. So whatever I think she did, I got to start doing it. I am my own motivation. I'm in competition with myself, baby. Jasmine got the Jag truck. Duchess need the Range Rover. For real, I'm in competition with myself. What did she do to get rich? That's my motivation. Myself. Respectfully. Anytime I go through anything in life, what did Jasmine do? I promise y'all it's not a game. It say do not stop whatever you're doing. I'm telling you. It's what you did to get rich. It helped you get along your path. It's going to be a lot of negative, a lot of negative people around you trying to tell you, trying to bring you down along your path. Keep going. You're going to get bigger, bigger, and bigger. There's something better out here for you. There's most definitely something better out here for you. Something that you might have to compromise with. But it's going to be a peaceful resolution. It's going to come with a yes here. It's going to be a, a, a wish come true. That's what I'm hearing. Yes, this is a romance of a lifetime. A lot of stuff is going to unfold within this year on why on why you had to choose something better. All right, you're gonna your your communication is going to clear up with this yes soon. So there is something better out here for you. Don't give up. I'm here. Don't give up when you so close. Everybody keep thinking they jar halfway empty when it's really halfway full. You just got to keep filling that thing up. Keep filling that thing up. It ain't empty. It's halfway full, friend. Keep filling that thing up. You getting some. You getting somewhere. Let's see what's going on. 
And that's another thing. You can't you can't say you want to do something. You want to start and stop, start and stop, start and stop. You have to be determined to make it out. You got to be determined to do this thing. Okay, so no matter what the world shall say at you, no matter what people shall say, you determined to get to keep going because you know you got a bigger purpose out here. You can't give up when when it looked like you don't have no views or when that when ain't nobody watching you or ain't enough people watching me, ain't enough people subscribing. Ain't nobody watching me. People just not starting to start watching me, honestly. You feel me? This shit take time. You got to build. You have to build. And honestly, y'all, I'm hearing God say, I'm going to move you faster than anybody ever, ever. If you just put the work in, you have to show God that you want it and he'll move it faster for you. You can't keep starting and stopping stuff, starting and stopping stuff, putting stuff on pause because you're not sure. You feeling like it's a ruin. It's not a ruin, friend. Your heart, your jaw is halfway full. Every time you stop, you drink out of your shit. That's why your shit keep getting, keep getting empty. Cause you keep drinking it. You gotta stay in that stuff. You gotta fill your cup up. Before you know it, your cup gonna be overflowing with water. Overflowing with abundance. With things. Okay? Everything is gonna be fine. Keep going. Don't let people, don't let people hinder what you believe. Especially if it's tarot. God has me doing tarot right now because I'm encouraging people. I'm setting people free right now. I'm doing his work through tarot, okay? It might start with tarot, but it ain't no telling what it, what it ends to. You have to show God that you want this life for him to bless you. I'm telling you, Ace of Wands. Somebody didn't stop. Somebody kept going. Somebody kept taking action because this is their passion. This is what they really, really wanted. This is some type of new, exciting beginning. It's bringing that fire out of you again here. Justice here. This is, this is going to bring out what you deserve out of life. This is clearing your mind. This is balancing you right now. This is fairness as well. You're going to get something out of this. Some of y'all could get some type of legal contract out of this. Somebody could get up and take action towards you. They feel like that you could help them get through some type of justice system. Who knows? I'm telling you, Three of Swords came out. Somebody could be heartbroken. Or maybe you're heartbroken because you feel like you're not getting everything that you deserve here. This is your passion. This is what you want to do here. You on fire about it. But you stuck in a limbo feeling like I'm not getting everything out of it. Now you now you choosing to throw everything away. Don't do that shit. Cause you in sorrow. Something broke your heart. Every time somebody break your heart, you just want to quit. You don't want to do it no more. That's the more reason why you gotta do it. It's a thousand motherfuckers out here that's just like you that can relate to you. Everybody ain't gonna be the same. But it's some other people out there that are the same. They're, look at our channel. Look how fast we grew in two weeks. In two weeks, I ran up 100,000 views, okay? So you have to put the work in. You're going to rise above all the competition. It's going to be competition everywhere you go. Everybody is going to always try to compete with you. But can't nobody compete with the rock star. You, you entertain and you put on a show. You funny as hell. People love watching you. People love seeing you. I'm hearing you. You right here. You you so passionate about what you do that you make it funny. You feel me? You make it. You make it all look like a good time. You know, so you can get to people because you can help. First of all, you can relate to them, and you can make it fun. Okay, you won the competition. It's okay to to be in a little competition. A little friendly competition ain't gonna hurt nobody. Friendly. When you get in competition with somebody, you realize that you the shit. I'm telling you. Every time you're going to realize that you the shit because you're going to win. Every time God got your back. Justice is on your side. Everything is in your favor. And you also could be bringing in the love of your life here. You could be helping other people get out of, get out of sorrow. Helping people make decisions with this justice card. Helping people um like balance their life, you know? Way the scales here. What's this ace of wands? You helping people get up and take action towards their passion. I'm 
Yeah, that Justice card came out. The Eight of Wands say keep working. I feel like you're working, you work on book work and you work on spirit work. Okay? God has you doing both for a reason. It's going to bring you wealth. It's going to bring you success. Yeah, two of wands here. So that's the ace of wands and the two of wands. So something been building up over time. It's been some strong, passionate passion building up for the, whatever this is here. I feel like right now, you probably trying to plan or make plans. Say how ever it resonates. Some of y'all have an option between the old and the new. Okay, do you want to keep doing what's familiar to you? Or do you want to branch off to something new? Okay, so some of y'all really have a choice between the old and the new. What do you want to do with it? I feel like some of y'all is going to choose this Ace of Wands, though. They're going to choose the new thing because that new thing is way more creative. That's what I'm hearing. It's way more creative. It got so many ideas in it. Oh, my God. Like, that damn wand, that damn Ace of Wands got so many ideas in it. That's why I bring up so much passion, 11, 11. That's why I bring out so much passion. I'm telling you, it's a victory here. This is like victory, success, being able to travel. I'm here being able to travel around the world. Some of y'all going to get booked city to city to city, state to state to state. Y'all traveling. What y'all don't know is y'all going to get some authority. Y'all going to get a lot of respect. Okay? You're going to help people come out of the dark night of the soul here. You're going to help people put their foot down, make make decisions like and not budge and not break. I say what I say. I mean what I say. It is what it is. Yeah, it's something with your intuition, something with your inner knowing. Don't give up on that. I'm telling you, don't give up on that. I really been reading tarot for a year, y'all. I'm just not popping out. I'm just not popping out. It's not a game. You have to show God that you want it. Justice. Look, I'm telling you, some type of king of cups probably finna come in. Also, I feel like whatever you, whatever you balancing, whatever you went through, take however it resonates, it taught you how to learn your emotions, okay? It taught you to balance your emotions, know when to give and when to take them back. It taught you to listen to your intuition here. You're forever right. Yeah, six of swords came here. So you're moving away from, from a hard past. Okay, you're choosing peace and happiness. So some of y'all could be spiritually led just to let a lot of stuff go. It's, it's for your emotions. It's for your sanity here. Okay, you're going to get what you deserve regardless. But somebody is literally a compassionate leader. He's very compassionate. That's a compassionate leader. He loves, for real. So, what's Queen of Swords? Yeah, Queen of Wands here. I feel like when, when it comes down to your creativity, you getting up and take action, it's hard for you to do because you don't, you scared to fail. You scared of heartbreaks. You already won. I feel like it's a lot of people that's ready to hear what you have to say. God is going to bring you your tribe. He's going to put you in position if you keep going. I'm telling you, some new beginning is going to come your way. It's going to fall out. I'm here. It's going to fall out, and it's going to fall out of the sky, literally out of the clear blue sky. And sky is going to be the limit from here on out. Tarot is only the beginning for some. Okay, somebody is not going to be doing tarot for for the rest of their lives. Somebody is not even going to be doing tarot in the next couple of months, in the next couple of weeks. That's what I'm hearing. So that's why God is trying to tell somebody right now to get up and start taking action. Because these followers going to need somewhere to go when she leaves. That's exactly what I'm hearing. When this girl get this new journey, these followers are going to need somewhere to go. Somebody who could keep going. Somebody who could keep up something. I don't know. I don't know who I'm talking to, man. But somebody is going to go through some type of spiritual death. And you're ending some type of hard cycle now. You're going off into a rebirth, trusting your intuition, following the unknown. God, God can help unlock, unlock some type of door to you. 
So now you now you know something. You have access to the books. You can go within. I'm telling you, you can literally go within and figure anything out. There's nothing that's hidden from you. No more. Okay, with the three of pentacles, it got something to do with work here. Right, right now, you should start working. It'll help you come up out of that heartbreak. It'll give you a victory. It'll give you some type of success. Don't give up on yourself. That's exactly what I'm hearing. Do not give up on yourself. Okay, tarot, not for everybody. But if you sit down and learn it and try to learn this stuff, I studied tarot for a whole year before I even tried to read it. And that's why I couldn't get big because I didn't know my facts first. Five, five, five. You have to get your facts. You have to study this stuff. This ain't no stuff you could just come out and pull a card. Oh, you want to look at pictures. That's why most people can't relate to different tarot because these people, these people just trying to help themselves. You have to be willing to help others. And a part of helping others is knowing your facts. Yeah, you got the yeah, you got the spiritual part, but you gotta get the study part too. You have to study this stuff. Because half of the time, your intuition could be wrong. Just because you feel something in your heart don't mean it's right, baby. That's why I be telling people, stop motherfucking talking so much. If God ain't gave you no deliverance, shut up. Be quiet. Mind your business. And you need to know when God is talking. Because God don't talk all the time. I promise you, he don't talk all the time. He ain't got time to. He got other shit to do. Jesus as well. They got other stuff to do. They not talking all the time. So that's why you learn your own intuition. But in order to really be a really good tarot reader, to really, really help people, I feel like you need to know your Bible work. To do, to do it God's way. To do it God's way. So let's see, Elder West TJ, want to say anything about this? Yeah, I feel like some of you guys could be being triggered by some type of relationship that's blocking you from doing your work, from stepping into your creativity. I'm hearing God say, go get you some money. He'll send you a husband. Go get you some money. It's time to start studying. Didn't I say that? Y'all need to study these cards. Stop just coming out here talking about y'all know something. Y'all don't. Your intuition is not right. Oh, but I don't say nothing. I just don't feel in my heart because I feel it in my heart. So I got to say it. Shut your mouth. The devil could be using you to manipulate somebody else's relationship, to trick somebody else's mind. That's why you have to talk to God. You can't give nobody no advice on their life. That's not your job. That's not your job to tell somebody else what they should and should not do. You can give your opinion. But at the end, you need to tell that person, go talk to God about it. Because I'm not God. I, I could never be God or Jesus. I could just deliver a message that they give to me. And you have to use, you have to use that with your own discernment. You got to go talk to your heavenly father about that stuff. And that would be the problem too as well. People don't send this stuff back over to God. That's why people going through suffering. They might be out here doing tarot, but they not, they doing it for the money. They not doing it because they really want to help people. If this, if this ain't, I'm hearing God going to, God, God going to tear a lot of people tarot channels down. Mm. It's a lot of shit that's going to start happening that's going to be fair. Because people are not really trying to help people. They're just trying to get paid. Mm -mm -mm. Something with a new house came out with an earth sign here. I feel like this earth sign could be um, just, just choosing just to walk in. Okay, knowing that the path is clear. Here, he been dealing with a lot of karmic family member. He need help with that. But you're going to see things in his life that you've never seen before. If you want to take terror on, it's, it's to really help people. My life is not my own. It belongs to women. It already, my God already told me this. 
You feel me? So that's why I'm telling y'all I'm going to be leaving. I don't know when. I just know I'm eventually going to leave because it's, it's a destination that I got to get to. Okay, but right now he has me doing this. And that's another thing, y'all. You have to you have to know your spiritual journey. On your spiritual journey, you're not going to be doing everything the same. If you still been doing the same thing that you've been doing last year, now it's a problem, friend. Respectfully, you're supposed to be increasing every year. Every year you get better. You don't have to wear crystals every day, all day. You don't have to keep saging. That stuff is a phase. Everything is a journey. Everything is a journey. See, when you build your strength up with God, you don't need that stuff. You're immune to this shit now. You, you can naturally fight it off and pop back right, okay? All this stuff is a phase. It's not no, it's not no, oh, you stay here forever. Oh, you read cards forever. You get it, you give it over to the next person coming up. Same way with your jobs when you're working. You might start off as a little cashier. You might start off at a lower level, but you always strive to get bigger, to get higher. Before you know it, you the fucking store manager. Now, if you can run a store, you a store manager, you might as well invest into your own business if you're going to do that. Or if you're going to be the store manager, you might as well be the best store manager and go district. You feel me? You always striving to get bigger in life. I'm never the same. I'm not the same girl I was last year. And that girl last year is not the same girl she was last year. And that year before that, I was not the same. Every year I've been different. I promise you. And every year I get better. Big on big on big on big. I strive, I strive for that. I don't stay at no low, low, low vibrational level. But one thing about me, I'm always come off my pedestal because I'm always want to come down to help people. I don't give a damn what life shall throw at me. I don't give a fuck how big and famous I get. I'm coming down. When, when I got to go on stage and talk to women, I ain't got no jury on. Respect. What am I, what am I flexing for? Why are you flexing to the, to the poor? Just, let's just be honest, for real. Y'all supposed to come out here and want to talk to women. Y'all want to help the children, but y'all iced out. What example are y'all giving at? You feel me? I'm God's real example on every level. On every level, I'm going to show you how this shit's supposed to be done. And to God free me. When, my, when it's, every phase is like, okay, you're getting a certificate. There you go. Every phase, you subscribe to get some type of reward. Ain't it, and don't kids got reward at the end of the year or something about how who did the best? Okay, so the end of the year, you need to be looking for your reward from God because you put your work in. So that's what's going on. You don't, you don't strive to stay at no low vibrational level. You got to always want to vibrate higher. Let's get something else. Let's see. Be assertive. Thank you. Get up and take action. Get up and take action. Meditation brings answers. Get, get up. Get your ass the fuck up. I'm telling you, if you get up and take action, baby, the race already won. Okay, there's some type of victory that's coming towards somebody who been up. Baby, somebody who been alert, somebody who been taking action finna get a victory. You been running so damn fast, you probably you probably didn't even know here. You been running so damn fast, you 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 finna run into the tape. You running dead into smack dead into your victory. You gonna get a lot of attention. Some of y'all might get some type of reward, some type of public recognition for this. Mm. Yeah, five of pentacles. Okay, you're gonna come up out of that worried energy, worrying about your future, worrying about poverty, worrying about everything going on around you. I'm telling you, you're gonna be happy. You're going to be satisfied, emotionally satisfied. Look, man, emotionally satisfied with the nine of cups and the ten of cups. You're going to be satisfied in yourself. You're going to have self love. You're going to know that you're beautiful because you work. You worked on yourself for so long. You worked on yourself for so long to come up out of this stuck energy before you got your relationship, before you got your ten of cups, before you got your marriage, your family. So now, now you're able to be the woman that a man needs to stand beside him. 
You can't be no weak bitch standing beside no man that get a lot of attention. Besides no, no emperor. This man get a lot of respect. He's an authority figure. He's a boss. He's an entrepreneur. He run this shit. Don't shit move unless he make it move, man. This man finna come in and communicate something with you. With this knight of swords, he want to master the game. This man done been through the ultimate hurt when it came down to manipulating ass energies. He's gaining his power back to come in and offer you something. I feel like with this though, baby, you can't, you could be no weak bitch standing next to this man. That's why you're going to keep waiting. If you don't love yourself, how the fuck could you ever love anybody? How can you really be happy in a relationship? You're going to go find a man that's broken as well. I promise you. He's going to break you. Even, he's going to break you lower than he found you. I don't talk about nothing that I ain't seen in my life. I just choose not to speak on what person I'm speaking on. You're going to be hurt having to work a motherfucking job and raise children. And this man, this man spending all his money on dumb shit. Ain't even paying his motherfucking bills, having his, his responsibility as a man. He don't give a fuck about himself. You're, you're choosing to live a slave mentality because you want love so bad. I get rich. I get rich first. I get rich first. I promise you. I'm not struggling with no man. Respectfully, I'm not struggling with no man laying in the bed with me. Can't even sleep at night because I'm worrying about how the fuck the bills going to get paid. I'm not doing that shit. I, I mean that. I mean it. I don't give a fuck how a bitch feel about anything, honey. I cry with a rich one. A rich man don't even want it. He don't even got time to have his bitch cry. What you crying for? He gonna look at you stupid. What is you crying for? Tell you, Queen of Wands, Sagittarius, fire sign energy. You got up and took action. You running smack dead into a victory. You running smack dead into a victory. I'm hearing public figure. I'm hearing famous. I'm hearing famous, baby. That's exactly what I'm hearing. I'm telling you, this script card, honey, you had, you probably been going through a lot with this word. You probably worried about how you're going to get the bills paid, worried about your future. Worrying about what the fuck. I don't, I don't know how I'm finna do this shit. But you just choosing to stay positive. You choosing just to keep going. You feel me? You done made it through the mud. Here. Okay? So I feel like whatever is coming is because you stay so strong. You stay so strong and you pray. And you listen to God. I'm telling you this King of Cups, he making himself known. This man could be a water sign or he just got a lot of emotions in him. He's some loving, caring ass guy. Like, it's not a game. He want to show compassion to you. This man keeps saying he want to show love to you. Page of Cups. He, he moving towards something young, fun, and exciting. Okay, something that he can, he can like, mature. He can grow it up. You feel me? Like, he not, he, he'll take on a little challenge. He can handle it. He can most definitely handle whatever challenge he's taking on. So, he could, he could be choosing right now to come in and communicate with you. Take action towards you, take you out of poverty, build you up here. It's gonna be a wish fulfillment for both of y'all. Yep, somebody could be messaging you, messaging you some type of good news. Okay, this could hit your heart chakra. This thing could come in out of nowhere. Six of one. This man most definitely get a lot of attention. This man sees you as a trophy too. He wanna show you off. I'm hearing bitch, bitch battle than Megan the Stallion. That's what I just heard him say. I don't know. But you're finna take some type of break in life here. Okay? You're finna see life in a whole new different perspective, in a whole new light here. You're finna be able to have everything, anything that you want at any time. 1129. That's my birthday, baby. I'm telling you, somebody is being spiritually led to come towards your way. Okay? You don't see this coming, but this man is bringing wealth in to you. Some of y'all could get a new house, okay? Or y'all can move. Yeah, watching you from a fake page. It could be some type of um, entertainer watching you from a fake page. Take however it resonates for some. It could, maybe it could be a fire sign, water sign watching you from a fake page. Yeah, good things are coming to you right here. Somebody finna come change your life unexpectedly. Sometimes you have to take a pay cut to come up here. 
So maybe you was doing something that made you a lot of money, but God told you to stop. God told you to put that shit on hold because something else better coming in and you listened. You listened. He finna show you why he told you to stop doing what you was doing. Why he told you to take a pay cut. He's, I'm telling you, somebody finna get a new car. Somebody finna get a new house. Somebody is literally finna to move. You're finna, ele you're finna upgrade out of nowhere. Prayer. Some things only God can fight. God told you to stop doing whatever you was doing and go in prayer. And pray to him. Talk to him. I'm telling you. Yep, somebody finna get some type of dream come true. Somebody finna come in, communicate with you, have a very smart, intelligent conversation with you. They got something to ask you. They got something to say. It's gonna, it's people throwing black magic at you. But like I said, no weapon form will never prosper. I never prosper. I'm telling you, some 555, five, five, some major change is coming. It's approaching. I'm hearing this already here. I don't know why I just seen the word very soon just came up in my eyes. I'm telling you, I said I seen the word very soon came up in my eyes and look what came out. Blessings. Blessings are coming to you. Blessings are coming to you. Somebody could ask to come take you out. Yeah, it's going to be a lot of fake family members that you're going to have to block out. Okay, if you ain't blocked these people out yet, you're going to need to block these people out when these blessings come in. I'm hearing this blessing going to come in regardless. Forward movement is coming in for the fire signs regardless. Heavy strong on the Sag, heavy strong on the Leo. Forward movement is coming regardless because your angels are supporting this. This is where you need to be at. It's your time. It's your time, honey. It's your time. This birth, this person's birthday could be in May or it could be in um, February. Okay, it's your time. Okay, you've been in this stuck season for so long. Baby, somebody somebody fought their way out. Somebody just kept going. Yeah, work, walking out on faith and not by sight. Not letting what you see hinder what you believe here. God finna bless you. And look at that May came right on now. It came right on out on top of 444 and on top of prayer. This man right here could be praying as well. He could be worried about his future too. Okay. He could be going through a lot of stuff and he sees you as a victory. He know that you can um, satisfy him. You can make him happy. You can make him full again. So he's choosing to come in. This man been praying for better days. I'm hearing he really been praying for better days. It ain't no sunshine when she's gone. Okay, so this man probably been been alone. Busted came out. So somebody could could be getting busted by the police. Take out every resonate. What's this busted card for? What's that? Break up. Ooh, okay. Maybe she got busted doing something, or he got busted doing something. Somebody got busted. Maybe they got busted watching you. Hmm. But somebody broke up with somebody because they they seen something. Yeah, somebody was trying to drain somebody's energy, trying to drain the masculine energy. This woman was taking all his energy. She, she could have got caught literally red-handed doing this shit, doing spell work, doing potion work, something like that. She, somebody getting caught, like literally trying to take this person's energy. Why am, I, why am I hearing I seen it up under the bed or I seen it under the pillow? I'm seeing them. He went in, the, he went in his room. The bed is big, y'all. It's a nightstand right here, and it's a lamp on it. He had his phone in his hand, and he just searched the whole room. He threw the whole shit up. He lit the, he lit the bed up. That shit was in between the mattresses. It was in between the mattresses. He lit his bed up and seen it in between the mattresses. So I don't know what's there. Yeah, this girl is obsessed with him. This girl is obsessed with this man. She don't want him to leave, so she's throwing black magic on him. He's seen something. This is some type of toxic relationship. Girl, this whole probably like, um, bitch, you ain't leaving. Life or death here. Life or death, okay? Okay? Yeah, this person right here probably wants you because of your power. He probably feel like that, that you could keep him protected from these negative-ass energies, from these wild-ass people. I'm telling you, somebody done lost their mental mind because they going through financial issues. But he said, fuck it. Fuck you. I don't give a fuck. 
I don't give a fuck. Somebody, somebody don't care. Somebody literally is broke. And look, I'm telling you, he broke up with the bitch. He broke up with the hoe. You don't know nothing about this. You over here minding your business. And this man over here thinking about you. Thinking about you all in, all in your thoughts. Okay, you see how she got her phone in the bathtub? You might be watching this man on your phone. Take it however it resonates. This man is literally breaking up with some type of bitch because she's trying to drain him for all his money. She could be trying to put the police on him too. Trying to say, oh, if you leave me, I'm a, I'm, I'm a bust you. I'm a report this to the police. This, that, and the third. She got, she ain't got no evidence. She ain't got no proof of whatever she's saying. So it don't even matter. I feel like this person like fuck you. The person like I don't give a damn. I'm finna go. He could be acting stiff on that hoe. Like I'm not doing it. He's happy with someone else. He's happier with someone else. I feel like this person knows that he could be happier with you. So he's choosing to disconnect. He could be trying to clean his energy here. All right, y'all. Let's get a card before we head up out of this thing. It's somewhere on that bed. He's searching for that shit. It's somewhere on, it's, a, it's at the top of the bed somewhere. But I really feel like it's in between the mattresses. It's in between the mattresses. Lift that shit up. Do not stop. Came out again. Whatever you're doing, keep going. You're helping this person get, you're helping this person let go shit. You're helping this person let go a lot of shit they sort of been had let go. Okay, he's having to reconsider a lot of decisions that he made watching you. All right, so I'm going to let y'all ask one question before we head on out of here, okay? My nose is itching too, y'all, so I don't know what that means. Somebody thinking about you. We have co I mean compromise here. So I feel like um this situation is gonna have to cause for both of you guys to compromise. Okay. Yeah, and it say let go. Okay. So there's something that he's gonna have to let go that's gonna be a compromise. Take it however it resonates, or you have to let go in order to get to these helpful people. Take it however it resonates for some, but it's something that he's having to compromise. Both of y'all are gonna have to compromise though when y'all move in. Or when y'all come together, only y'all will know. I can't tell y'all what it is. Only y'all will know. But it's something that is, that's needed to be let go as well. Something that he could be trying to fix. Take out every re resonate for you guys. All right, man. Um, all right, guys. Thank y'all for watching. Make sure y'all like, share, subscribe. Your girl is out. Peace.